and delinquent renters and homeowners. They're on a roller coaster ride since the pandemic. The state has a moratorium on evictions and foreclosures, but whether it gets renewed each month is anyone's guess. The governor often waiting until the last minute to extend, causing more anxiety as people try to rebound. Today, Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders takes a look at whether other states are doing the same. The Rebound Tallahassee is sponsored by Perry and Young. Homeowners and renters behind on payments breathing easier this month. That's after another extension of Florida's eviction and foreclosure moratorium to help those impacted by COVID-19. This is just a horrible situation for everybody, man. Everybody I know is going through it. While it's been a safety net for many since April, it's also become a source of stress. Critics question why the governor often renews each month with little time before expiration. <laughs> on that very soon. The extension often comes just a day or two out. This week, DeSantis signing with only hours remaining. The same thing in June. Florida is one of 20 states in D.C. with some kind of eviction foreclosure protection. Of the 11 regularly extending, nine states are giving several days or weeks notice. Florida and Nevada being exceptions. The very least, the governments at all levels ought to do in the middle of a pandemic is assure each of us that we're not going to lose our homes in the middle of it. Diane Yentel heads the National Low Income Housing Coalition. She calls DeSantis waiting until the last moment unfair and harmful. In many cases, it means them having to make terrible trade-offs and avoid buying store-bought food and going to a food pantry instead or avoiding buying expensive medication. There's speculation the governor's last-minute renewals are an effort to appease landlords and lenders, pressuring as many to pay as possible before granting relief. Yentel couldn't say if that's the case, but called it a terrible approach. There is no data to support any suggestions that people who can pay rent aren't. Officials with the governor's office didn't give specifics on his thinking, but told us in a statement he's using up-to-date data and input from experts. Quote, the balancing act of protecting both tenants who need assistance and landlords from bad actors is one the governor does not take lightly. And President Trump has enacted a federal moratorium on evictions, but some governors are leery on how that order is going to be carried out and are still extending their own. We'll have to see what DeSantis does when his order ends at the end of the month. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting. And here are some takeaways as Florida extends its eviction and foreclosure moratorium for another month. Those behind on payments are getting frustrated with last minute renewals. Florida is one of only two states waiting hours before expiration. Housing advocates call the delays unfair and harmful. The governor's office says it's balancing tenants and landlord needs.